turn this into Zeus right now, but we could turn the cameras on to me and her and I just go. <laughs> now, <laughs> Yo. Bro, every time I was trying to make some bread, some got in the way. Bro. And I kept on getting shot, killed, robbed. Bro. GTA probably <laughs> fire though, I ain't gonna lie. What? What up, y'all? We are back, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I am officially a uh, host in this motherfucker. It's a personal podcast, episode 10. You know what I'm saying? Double digits. You know what I'm saying? Who to thunk it? Double digits. And I'm officially a member. Isn't this crazy? It's a celebration. Oh, my goodness, man. It's been, oh, my goodness. Shouldn't be saying no words yet. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even introduce off. you, nigga. What the fuck? Starting off with the hostility. I Keep see. this nigga out in the frame for like whatever he just said. Mm. <laughs> so I spoke to one light skinned Chris and he told me that I could start the episode today. So that's why I'm talking right now. You feel me? But that's that light skinned Chris and that's the one that y'all know. We got a special light skinned Chris in the building today. Can we get, can we make some noise? This nigga's trying to give him chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make Damn, some nigga. noise for the light skinned Chris with dreads? Woo! Hello. I'm light skinned Chris with dreads. <laughs> oh. Can you say your actual name? Oh, I'm Chris J, also known as light skinned Chris with dreads. Yes. And today, what what are we talking about? We talking about a lot of shit, but nigga. We got a lot to catch up on. It's been a long time since we've been yeah, on these been campus. A long time. It's been a long time. I feel like we say that every time. Wait, we're on before, these before we go for, I feel like we need to address something. What? what? Oh yeah. Um. There there's obviously somebody not here right now. Yeah. I almost forgot that for a second. That's fucked up. I said what? Like I don't know that. I'm your host Greg. <laughs> I'm your host Chris. I'm your host XV. This nigga. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'll keep I, I'm your host, Milan. Hi. And today we're missing a host, Marvin, obviously. We miss you, Marv. Marvin's here in spirit. Marvin is here in spirit, bro. He's like the reason why we're even shooting right now. Very grateful for Marvin. Shout out, Marvin. Shout the out, Marv. Day, we Dennis, love you, Marv. The other day, Dennis sent me a picture of Marvin on Instagram and said, this don't look like the 09 Drake. <laughs> So, <laughs> was it when he was in DR, bro? He was wearing a suit. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, bro. He was in DR, bro. <laughs> bro leave, leave Marv alone, bro. Shout out to the 09 Shout Drizzy. Out Marv. Shout out, Jizzy. Yo, I also want to address one thing because, you know, some people be thinking I think I'm cool or something. The lights are bright. It give me headaches. That's why I got the shades on. He think he cool. The fuck? I just, I get headaches. I think both of y'all just whack. Um, oh damn! You over there saying crisscross applesauce? That you ass. know you uncomfortable. I'm not. Y'all mad? Y'all mad? Y'all don't got? Y'all don't got flexibility? You got on? You crisscross applesauce with glasses that you need to see? It is about to be nine. Did you just? Hey, bro! I got glasses that I need to see, but they shades too. Nah, I'm, cool. I'm just saying. I got a disability. I got a disability. A disability this is crazy. This was strictly a cosmetic decision. I can't front, but I don't give a fuck. I, I think it's, I think it's high stylistically. How do, you, how do y'all feel about niggas that wear shades in the nighttime? It depends on the occasion. I'll be doing that. It depends on the occasion. Like, if you just, like, go into the deli with shades on at night, then, like, what you up to? But, like, if you, like, at, like, a party or, like, a show and you got shades on that night, then it's like, all right. I don't want to look a nigga that got shades on in the night in, the, in his eyes, like, like, without the shades. I feel like their eyes is always screaming crackhead, you know? Damn nigga, I wear shades at night time. I'm talking about you. That's fucked up. I feel like you always try to judge people that 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 aren't straight edge. A young nigga can't get a sandwich with shades on, you know what I mean? No, you can't get a sandwich with shades on. Why not? God forbid a nigga catch a vibe with shades Word. on. God forbid a nigga catch a vibe. I'm not saying about the vibes. I completely agree with y'all saying that like, you know, if y'all are out at a party, but like if you religiously going out like that. Yeah, that's OD. I agree. Niggas can't even chill no more. With shades on, do you need to? I don't need to, but like, what if I just want to all the what time? What if I don't want niggas to see my eyes? See, that's different. That's OD. I don't give a fuck if niggas see my eyes, bro. I ain't lie. Sometimes that be the case for why I have one, because I be too fucked. You know, I be fucked up. So like, you know, like sometimes my eyes be like a little. Yeah, I can't. I can't lie and say I've never been there. That's that's true. Gotta hide my eyes sometimes. Anyways, it's been a long ass break. We had real life shit to do. 
Um, the reason crazy. why we're even missing a member right now is just been scheduling complications. No. Scheduling in real life. Yeah. School schedules don't really match up. So moving forward, moving forward, not all of us are going to be here for every episode. Yeah. Facts. There's going to be times where some of us are here. There's going to be times where some of us aren't here. I mean, if it's in my house, I'm going to be here. But like... Allegedly. Huh? What? But real shit. Yeah. Just life shit going on. Niggas been booked and busy. Type shit. Niggas been... Yeah. Milana SNL. On set, bro. You know, religious... SNL visitor at the after parties. At the after parties. He be getting doing, freaky. He be doing that stuff. No, where she no, get real. He was with Diddy. No, freaking. No. He was at that one Rick no. Holmes party where they had the horse in that motherfucker. No. He was with Diddy that one time. What? No. You was definitely at that. I know at about that, that. That one Michael Rubin party. Oh, yeah, going to hell. You was at the all white party, gang? You made it to the all white? No. That's wild, bro. Anyway, speaking speaking about these freak, freak, freakazoids. Freakazoids. Yeah. The newest freak on the block. What? Meek Mill. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Freak Mill. Meek ain't doing nothing wrong recently. Y'all yeah, think Meek is gay? This nigga just brought up Freak Mill. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That shit do not matter at all, for real. It don't. It don't. It don't. Because, like, I'm not gonna lie, But the bro. way he addressing it is just hilarious. Yeah, yeah. The way he addressing it, making it so it's, like, funnier than it has to be, bro. Yeah, that's true. I would have forgot about this, like, days ago if he just said, nah. <laughs> Oh, he had to tweet out with three letters. <laughs> or that nigga could have just tweeted nothing. This nigga dropped an EP, and then he went on Twitter and just started saying mad bullshit, I love bro. pussy. <laughs> so wet. I'm not addicted to it, but it, it's a high, you know? Like, bro, what the fuck are we talking about? I even anymore? fuck pussy on this period. <sighs> That's how much you know I love pussy. I feel like you guys say all that, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. This is weird. It's like, yo... Like when Cat Williams said that shit about Ludacris and then he dropped a freestyle <laughs> and this nigga was like, I always leave with bitches when I'm coming from any party. And he like looked mad serious when he said that. I'm like, it's not even the gay shit that I'm concerned about, though. Like, I'm concerned about the actual allegations with like Diddy and like so wrongdoings concerned? of them. Like they apparently like there was minors involved. I'm not sure if Meek Mill was active in that yeah, activity, but like. Apparently, Usher was one of the minors. And Justin Bieber, too. Bro. See, yeah, like, that's crazy as fuck, bro. 48 hours, bro. You know, yo, I was, th I was thinking about this shit, too. And I was like, low-key, if you compare, like, the um, like the rappers that have, like, basically adopted, like, younger artists, all of them are mostly cool. Like, you see Drake and, and Nicki Minaj always paying, like, like love to, to Lil Wayne. But you ain't never seen any of Diddy's spawns really talk about him. Yeah. And to that effect, it's like, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Did he, did he, did he just been on one, bro? He blowing up niggas' cars. <laughs> like, I don't know, bro. You blowing up niggas' cars. That's like, I can only say that. And it's like, that's still crazy, bro. How you blow up a nigga's car? Because he allegedly, like, talking to a shorty that you like. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? I mean, you got to crash out. When you really love her, you got to crash out. We going to talk about crash outs right now? Diddy is like the all-time crash out, bro. Who was the greatest crash out of all time? Who's the greatest crash out of all time? I don't know. Hmm. That's a tough In one. In like anything? Yeah. Like Real life or fiction? If it's fiction, then it's like it got to be a fictional case. Like if fiction is involved, like it cannot be somebody in real life, bro. That nigga, okay. That nigga Peter Quill. Real life and, and fiction. Oh, damn. Damn. That's, that's a crazy one. He is a crash out. He a crash Bro, out. Bro, crash out crazy. I don't even know who that is. Star Lord. Star Lord. Oh, oh, in, in Infinity oh. War, this nigga. Damn sure did crash out. He yeah. fucked up the whole shit. Spider Man had the glove off, bro. That shit was at the tip of his finger. Bro. Nigga Tony said, We almost got it off. Tony Gage, we almost got this off. Tell me she's lying. Fuck they whole shit up. He teleported to Earth, got up out of there. Damn. Hey, but if that if that was your girl, are you crashing out? No, that bitch was ugly and green. Gamora was bad. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, she was kind of bad. I seen the Twitter post and I low key agree because I'm a Star Wars fan and I'm biased, but I think. I think Anakin is the greatest crash out of all time, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Who? 
That Darth Vader. He basically like uh, he crashed off at the bus. Yeah, bro. This nigga ruined the whole galaxy over his over his woman, bro. Not the whole thing, just most of it. Nah, not really. If you think about it, he was crashing out more about Obi Wan, which I thought was a little sus. His little nah, boyfriend. he didn't. Yes, he did. I feel like he crashed out because he seen like her brought him there to kill him, bro. This nigga was like, nah, bro. He thought Obi Wan Obi Wan was clapping cheeks. He was like, maybe this not my kid. I had bro question paternity. I think you took I think you took that scene the wrong way, bro. Nah, that was the right that was the right way. When he, when he seen Obi Wan in the ship, he was like, <gasps> Nah, Obi Wan was dead standing there like. <laughs> bro, bro, bro fell down to his knees. I'm not like, gonna lie, bro. <laughs> I'm saying Mordecai from regular shows. Nah, Mordecai, bro. bro. That nigga that killed, nigga killed his own man over son. a girl that he didn't even like know whether or not she liked him or not. Like, I'll kill you. He said, I'll kill you. Would have killed the nigga. I'll kill you. I never seen regular show. I don't know. What? Wait, this nigga just said he'd never seen regular show. Like, not one episode ever. Bro, you seen you've seen it, bro. I never, never watched seen that. that one episode of regular show. Not a full episode. You mean never. like you've seen regular show? It was one of my favorite shows. Never watched a full episode. That's crazy. They'd have one job, and then they end up in like fucking space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga. That's the beauty of it, bro. That whole arc was crazy, bro. They took the whole park to space, bro. Yeah, they did take the whole Definitely. park. To space. Niggas was in space for like two seasons, bro. I did watch Wink's Fairy Club though. What? What in the fuck? <laughs> what the I fuck just, is I that? I'm about to that drop the bomb. Boss. Go ahead. This nigga's a f type of shit. Nah. Well, as a nigga that has watched a good two, three episodes of Wink's Fairy Club, I will say. This nigga's a f Wait, wait. It got a good story. He said fairy. He said fairy <laughs> twice. <laughs> Perk Tom. Perk Tom! That's like copyright. Like, do I get. Ayo, Chris, it's Perk Tom. Can't get copyrighted for my medicine. Where you going? A little intermission real quick. We'll be back. I'm going to get my yurk, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm getting a yurky. We all haven't seen Barbie's Dream House. Barbie's Dream House? I'm not going to lie. They should not have made... They should not have made that many Barbie movies, bro. I had to watch all them shits with my little cousin. They should have never made that many Tinkerbell movies. Them Tinkerbell movies with some gas. Though. Never seen them. Lie. Tinkerbell was gas. My sister was obsessed with them movies. What's the best Disney movie of all time? Y'all don't want to start this conversation. I'm Tangled, to right now. Princess in the Front. Wait, Tangled, Disney, Tangled. Disney movies like those or like like we talking game. about? We talking about like Disney movies that made it to theaters or just like Disney movies that made it to theaters and shit? Oh, okay. Like blockbuster. I Disney didn't like movies. none of them. Honestly. I like Lion King, bro. Like, like that's just goaded to me, bro. Eh. I feel like Pixar. Pixar is better. Eh. Lion King is a like, classic, bro. I was talking about Pixar. Shrek, Shrek is like better than it's, anything. Y'all want to include Pixar? I'm a dad. I say like... No, I'm saying Pixar was better than Disney. Shrek is better than anything. Pixar Disney movies, got. that's a whole different convo. I fuck with... I fuck with... Uh, Shrek 2 is better fuck, than anything. I fuck with Incredibles. Ever. Incredibles is my shit, bro. Incredibles is cool, but I got to go with, with, with Belaz at Shrek 2. Don't kiss. Shrek is... <laughs> I mean, Shrek is uh, Pixar. That's, dream, that's DreamWorks. That's DreamWorks. That's that's DreamWorks? I know, but I was talking yeah. about like Shrek in general because he used to say Shrek. Yeah, which dream I like the Puss in Boots movies, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. Okay. The most recent one was cool. Yeah. Like, I love Shrek too, bro. But like, Puss in Boots is crazy, bro. Shrek, you got that over Shrek? Shrek I mean, it's spawned, like so it spawned from, from Shrek, but it's like, I feel like it's a better successor. That's, That's crazy. What? That Puss in Boots. Nuts. The, the series as a whole. I fuck oh, with it. Oh, what year you was born? The Last Wish is the only huh? thing. What year you was born? Oh, three. All of us were. He's, you know, said grandpa. Whoa. Old Annie, pushing 30, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> pushing 30 is crazy. Yo, for context, I was born in 01. Like, <laughs> it's not much before them. It's just like. You was there for the towers. I, I did. I did breathe tower air. Shout out to me for that one. I guess. It's crazy. My mom, my mom worked, worked across the street from the towers, bro. Nah, word. My mom was dead ass right there too. Bro, it was my mom's first week in the country. Yo, what? she must have been. Petty Imagine that being like your first experience of America. Like that's that ass America, bro. Like, yo, bro, y'all. So and then man, she stayed. Y'all seen that the man said some crazy shit. Like, yo, this is New York. You could see the twin towers getting crashed into, or you could see someone opening a new business and just said. That's the city. I'm like, what the fuck? He ain't lying, though. No. I feel like that's the city. But, bro, that I said, you could see a terrorist attack. You could, my nigga. 
Well, well, this is like the lo- one of the largest cities in the world, so you I'm not surprised, bro. And it's America, bro. Like we we see crazy shit every day in New York. I feel like New Yorkers, if you grow up in New York, you're just desensitized to crazy shit, nigga. Like shit. from growing up, bro. You see crazy shit on a daily basis, bro. Chances are you've seen somebody die. Yeah. I seen a dead nigga. I seen a nigga get shot up. I seen a nigga, um, a homeless guy jump in front of a train. That is crazy, bro. That's, that's, that would blow my honesty. Yeah. Like, that would honestly get me so mad, bro. Like, you delayed the train. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie. Fuck your death. I was bro. late to like, school you just that fucked day. Fuck me up. That's a val- not a valid excuse, but like. That is a valid excuse. Valid excuse, but not like a valid situation. I That's yeah, like wacky as hell. I still almost got detention for that. That's fucked up. Yeah, bro. We went to a charter school. Them niggas was dick riding. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm a. Bro, we went to. Bro, yo, yeah, bro. I'm it's a walk school. We we heard some walk allegations after graduating too, bro. Like, nah. I didn't graduate from that. Hell no. Nah. One of them on some freaky shit, bro. He got one. Mm. It's like, no, like, talk like, about it. Real. That freak. Y'all thought Diddy was freaky bad? Freaky boy, bro. This Y'all nigga. Diddy was bad? Mm. Shit, I really. Yes. I mean, mm, don't, bro, do this, don't do it. Tarnish that nigga name, bro. The thing is that, like, we had an amazing relationship with him, but once we graduated and we heard all the shit that was going on, we was like, nah. Bro, we're not gonna drop names, bro. I heard that was your man. We're not gonna drop names. This nigga groomed. This nigga. This nigga groomed a student, bro. Like, that ass, this nigga has a baby with one of the students, bro. That's crazy. Bro, I'm that ass, bro. And she was. She was Assistant, bro. That is crazy. She was the assistant, bro. That's really odd. Like, nigga, you're walky, nigga. Like, and we know about you, nigga. You walky, bro. Work it around. And niggas trusted you, bro. Niggas trusted you. Niggas trusted the faculty. Bro, bro, that's fucked up, bro. Bro, people, people like you a walkie nigga, bro. Greg. Feel the tension, though. Right? I'm sorry, bro. That nigga is fucked up, bro. Not, Fuck you, nigga. Man. Niggas trusted niggas, you, bro. Niggas Jesus you. Christ. Fuck you, nigga. I don't even know you, but you a walkie nigga. You saying Jesus Christ, nigga? I'm trying to hear what you gotta say. We pedophiles, K over here, bro. Okay. I, I, I thought you was about to say something else. I, I thought you was gonna end it at we pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yo, yo, bro, what the fuck, bro? What they the fuck? Kid, yo, bro. bro. I was about to say, where are you going? Because we sounds like a lot of people. <laughs> bro, that nigga held out that word for Matt Lowe. He said, pedophiles. Okay. No, I didn't, bro. I'm running <laughs> back, bro. What the fuck, bro? Bro, after we was just talking about red shirting in the last episode, that's crazy. And you had the red shirt on. It's crazy. This nigga red shirting. What the fuck? What, what, you, what you trying that's to say? Crazy allegation to yeah, what the oh, fuck? No, wait, no, he's a red hatter. My fault. What does that mean? Bro, I don't want to talk about Trump <laughs> every episode. Bro, I'm sorry I had to come up, bro. Election time coming up, some crazy shit happening. You you know you voting for Trump. I don't want to talk about that, bro. I know I know you don't want to talk about that, but in the leading months coming closer to election day, you're gonna be our specialist. Like when we're gonna look, we're gonna look to you whenever he he said some walk shit. <laughs> hey, bro, I will be keeping up. I will not lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> I will not, I, I will not lie to you. I will be keep. I will watch the debates and all that. My nigga. This nigga watch the debates. I, 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 I watch, watch the watch debates. debates is insane. Y'all niggas don't watch presidential debates. No. That should be entertaining as fuck. Not with them old two niggas. I be wanting to just. I don't know. I be wanting to get more into politics. I feel like politics is bullshit, especially in the state it's in right now. But bro. I'm saying it was entertaining. It is. It, it's like television. I be wanting to make. I be wanting to make an effort to get more involved in shit. I just can never bring myself to do it. Nah, but yeah, man. We not gonna. We not gonna talk about my my, my nigga DT, man. You know. You know. We gonna get my on nigga that. DT. Are you gonna get his shoes? Nah, them shit is bad. You getting them DZs? <laughs> DZ. <laughs> them shit is bad. I'm not getting the DZs. <laughs> Yo. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was looking at them shits like, ain't no fucking way. This nigga dropping DZs, bro. I didn't even know this shit, right? Nah, 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 so bro. what is these, bro? You ain't seen them shits, bro? Nah, bro. Shits is ugly. I didn't see them shits, bro. Some bullshit, bro. <laughs> to the, from the colorways to the silhouette, like everything is just ass, bro. Terrible. Like, I'm gonna see a bunch of old people with that bullshit on this summer, bro. Terrible. Bro. Uh, you're not fucking with the, with, the, with the DJ sixes? What the fuck are these, bro? Bad, bro. I'm not They're fucking bad. with the DJ trays, bro. I'm They're not bad. fucking with the DJ trays, bro. The DJ T's? Yeah, like, hell nah, bro. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I could probably drip them, though. I got that shit on right now. I could probably put that, that shit on shit with them. Right. I got that shit on right now. At this rally. If my pants is baggy enough, I could put that shit on. 
I got the best sneakers in Complex Con. <laughs> <laughs> no one's fucking with these. I'm like, bro, that's some bullshit. It would be like bro. wavy as fuck though if he wore them to like a, a debate. Biden? He the type of nigga to wear them shits with a suit. Yo, Biden, gotta you gotta get back, son. You Biden, gotta drop you some to. heat on this nigga, bro. Biden, you need to like. I feel like be Biden done. could drop a fire running shoe. A Biden. fire running shoe? I'm not gonna lie, probably. Biden probably get up with like New Balance or some shit, bro. That shit would be heat, though. I fuck I'll with New Balance, bro. I'll probably cop them shits. I don't fuck with Biden, but I'll Presidential New Balances. You I ain't gonna lie, though. If he do drop a sneaker, we all gotta agree that he dick riding. Wow. Probably. What you mean, why? All right, bro. Name, a, name another president that, that dropped a sneaker. Kanye almost. Hell no. President, my nigga. Like, That's why I said almost, bro. He was a presidential candidate. Good you know enough. what I mean? He did have them rallies. And he got the most successful, like... Shoot, you know what I'm saying? My nigga, Donald Trump. Trump. I copped the Yeezy for I copped the Neezy, bro. Nah, no, no, word. You copped the Yeezy pods? You copped the Yeezy pods, bro. Them shit's bad. They 20 bucks. They 20 bucks. The fuck do that mean? My nigga, it's a lot of shit that's 20 bucks I don't want. You can go, go to DR and get some pussy for 20 bucks. I don't want that shit. Allegedly. Nah, not allegedly. <laughs> I got a, I got a, I got a coworker that's been trying to tell me, yo, come with me to DR, bro. Nigga want to be past. Yo, bro, bro what, what are these you... allegations, gang? You been to the motherland, bro? What's going on, bro? Y'all niggas ain't calling DR time. the motherland. Is hey, hilarious. Hey, hey, all I'ma say, all I'ma say is, you could get pussy for free anywhere. You just, you, you just gotta be that nigga. I'm not Twenty dollars now. If you paying for pussy, like I, I'm, you, you. Hold on, wait. If you're paying for pussy. Y'all good with just paying $20? That's what I'm saying, though. If I'm paying for pussy, I need top shelf pussy quality. Bro, $20 pussy. on GTA, they ain't even getting you pussy, bro. But I'm saying, though, I need quality. Well, GTA got inflation, so, you know, it's kind of yeah, crazy. Yeah, GTA inflation is crazy, bro. Inflation, nigga, that shit was out in, like, 2013, bro. Nah, bro they up the economy, the not bro. like it is now, bro. Like and you can get $50 pussy on GTA, bro. GTA pussy <laughs> probably fire, though. I ain't gonna lie. What? That shit probably <laughs> fire. <laughs> The way the whip be moving and shit, you know what I'm saying? You can feel it. The, the controller vibrating. That bitch the got whip it. be moving like a motherfucker, but I think the shorty just be dragging it, bro. I be feeling bad for my player, bro, because she just trying to make the car shake. She ain't even, she just trying to make the motherfucking car I'm not going to lie, but the player, a fucking, he a two-pump chump, bro. That nigga busting yeah, like, in like 20 <laughs> seconds, bro. Yeah, yeah, you don't get your money's worth with that inflation, Yo, bro. but let's talk about it. What the bitch be doing with the money so fast? Because when you kill it, you don't ever get all your money back. True. Nah, you get a portion of true. that. She already paid the pimp. Y'all be killing the bitches, bro. What's yeah, good with you, bro? Yo. Nigga, times is rough, nigga. Bro, you lying. You lying if you say you, you ain't said, never you know, ain't ever killed the bitch after. In GTA, you go own mad shit, bro. You killing the bitch over 50 bucks, bro. What the <laughs> you fuck, fuck you know, money back, bro, bitch? Bro, you, know, you, never ma you never maxed her out and then shot her? I did max, I, bro. I don't be shooting them though, bro. I'd be like, like changing to like the baseball bat or some shit. <laughs> Yo, this thing <laughs> is crazy, Straight bro. Come over the head with it. <clears throat> get like twenty five dollars. Like I ain't just blow like a band. Like, like a band. Yeah, bro. Damn. Damn. This nigga is crazy, bro. Band on the GTA pussy. That's crazy. Type shit, bro. I don't know. Bro, what you can could I use say? that band and spun the block in the Bronx. <laughs> Yo, bro. Nah, bro. In the Bronx. Niggas was on the Bronx. Yo, niggas was in the Bronx just struggling last night, bro. Yo, bro. We're why? talking about Roblox. In right Roblox, now. there's a game called the. I'll come. I'm on the fucking it's main the screen. Positive, I'll come bro. across some shit called the Bronx, bro. This is a top rated game on Roblox. You could go play this shit, bro. You what? could fucking what? scam in that game. You kill niggas. You could, there's a gun store in that bitch, bro. Bro. I don't know, bro. That shit was just insane to me, bro. We was on there till three in the morning shooting shit up. I fell asleep trapping in Roblox, bro. Niggas was doing a 1v4 with some nigga that just didn't want to get off the game. Bro had like too much heart, bro. This nigga said, yo, I'm gonna call my gang in here, bro. And then he realized it was like four in the fucking morning. He was like, y'all are so lucky. I'm like, this nigga just got niggas on standby to shoot niggas up in Roblox, bro. Imagine hopping on the phone with your bro and be like, yo, bro. Hop on Roblox, yo, hop bro. Hop on Roblox right now, bro. Yo, hop on Roblox, bro. We about yo, hop on Roblox real quick, yo. These niggas playing with me, bro. These niggas testing my gangster, bro. I'm just trying to make this money, bro. As I told Chris, the only nigga I know that play Roblox is an autistic 14 year old. Damn. Shout out to my little brother. I'm trying to see right now. Shout out my little brother. He a real one. I don't know about y'all niggas though, but. What are you trying to say right now? <laughs> this, is, this is the intro to the Roblox game. 
I'm yeah, posted. Shout out to the camera, bro. Yo, bro, yo. I'm posted. What do you, like? <laughs> My son posted, bro. Let me press play. In the community bank right now. Look, look at that. You see that? Fake IDs and cards. You see that 29, that 30,000? <laughs> I'm out 30 bands. Nigga, out 30 bit. Yo, Chris, how is you struggling so bad? Yo, this nigga, yo, bro, we want to send this nigga mad bands, bro. bro this nigga would be broke. This nigga had three dollars, bro. Bro, this nigga had three dollars. How the, the fuck you get three dollars, bro? In that game, I was sending this nigga twenty five hundred on Cash App, bro, and I got caught lacking crazy outside the bank, bro. That's why bro, I give him nothing. Every time I was trying to make some bread, some nigga got in the way. And I kept on getting shot, killed, robbed. You just couldn't get low. You was ass. Yeah, yeah, bro. You was always getting caught. I had crazy. to get a real job. This, is this nigga's Dominican and not built for the Bronx. That's crazy. This is any kids outside of New York's perception of what New York is fully. And I'm not going to lie. That's crazy. Yes, there it's are real. partial truths in it, but it, like the, the glorification and commodification. Of guns, drugs, scamming is terrible. Oh. Black pain is kind of crazy, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. Bro, it's like, I don't know, man. Poverty is pornographic. Oh, God. Message. <laughs> oh, God. That's some real spill. That might have went over your head. Message. I don't know, bro. That shit is like, Roblox in general was just crazy, bro. Like, Kim Kardashian's kids see her getting her cheeks bust on a game, That's which so I'm weird. pretty sure had nothing to do with Kim Kardashian getting her cheeks bust. It just popped up somehow because Roblox, right? Like, that's just dumb as hell. Bro, I'm this game is lie. supposed to be for kids. It exactly. is. And kids be on it, though. That's the thing. Kids be on that shit. Bro, that was probably a little kid we was beefing with on Roblox last bro, night, bro. Nigga, like Chris was getting smoked by a kid. <laughs> <laughs> he said, y'all niggas don't even know how to aim right. What are y'all doing, bro? Bro, nigga said, yo, y'all aim trash, nigga. Then we ganged up on him. Pussy. I'm like, what the hell, bro? Like, <laughs> nigga, Milan said, this Roblox. Nigga said, you playing it. Some nigga was in the bank. <laughs> Scanning a fake ID, getting sturdy with a pistol in his hand, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that nigga spent way too much money on that game specifically, bro. Cause that nigga had like game specific emotes. I ain't never seen a nigga get sturdy on Roblox till we got into that server, bro. That shit was mad stupid. And then bro. this nigga bought emotes of a dog twerking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I just bought the twerk emote and I put the dog costume on, bro. It's two different things, bro. bro. His dog costume was unnecessary. Why did you buy the twerk emote? Why not? Oh, okay. How much that ring that ran you though? Like 99 cent, nigga. Nigga paid a dollar to shake ass. <laughs> 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 nigga, you cheaper than the than the than the GTA hoes. You cheaper than the DR hoes, man. Yeah. Yo, what's your question, bro? I was I was screen watching, I'm not gonna lie. Why are you watching face? I ain't gonna lie, man. I can before we get to that, man, I just wanna talk about something real quick. What? Is doing good. Yeah, nigga. I'm not buying that shit. The first one I heard was Ash. I knew about Doom before the movies with uh We gotta see the second one. That shit is like Star Wars before Star Wars, ain't it? Like that's what like Star Wars took like a lot of inspiration from. Yeah, is it really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the books are kinda like the books are ass. I wanted to read the all books. All over the place. It's hard to read the first time. Bucket, though. The books all over all all over the place, but the lore of the universe is really deep and it has some really good commentary on just you know. Is it worth the watch? Yeah, should I watch it? Yeah. yeah, you should. I should watch. I feel like you want to really go to sleep. To touch, but like, even think if I'll you just sleep? watching, you think I'll go to sleep? No, bro. Like, even if you just watching surface you level, you think I'll go to sleep? I think you will go to sleep. You go to sleep while niggas is in here making music loud as hell. I feel like Doom wouldn't. Doom wouldn't hesitate to put this nigga out, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like if you're into sci-fi, political commentary, good cinematography, that Doom would be a good watch. Yeah, I lie. you almost put me to sleep with that sentence. Fucking bro, you ain't. Ca I ain't catch the words. Sci-fi, political, political sci -fi. commentary, hip hop, and good cinematography. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I already seen Star Wars, bro. <laughs> Yo, I already seen Star Wars. <laughs> I said that nigga Timothy Chalamet is cute, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta give you the chance. That's your type. I got a lot of types. We're here, you know. Enjoy us. Japanese. Know? Chris got some stuff. Chris, what's the question? Give us one. I told you we playing this like a space game. Give us say one, the question. Chris. Um, I had a question. Uh, I had this like written down for a while now. Uh, me and Greg had a conversation. Oh, nigga threw three francs at you, nigga. The triple shaman. Oh. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but basically, uh, I had this question written down back when we was, we was first supposed to record, but somebody wanted to, you know. 
I don't know if I should say it, but <laughs> yeah, I had to do a little fucking. <laughs> so I got canceled because he he wanted to be a freak boy. But fucking, I had to run. Some, I had to run in some cheeks. But basically, it he had to run in some cheeks. That's <laughs> crazy as fuck. <laughs> Ask but the question. My question is, uh, what keeps you out, what keeps you up at night? Nothing. I'll be high as fuck. Like, what's something that you think about that could keep you up at night? Our inevitable deaths. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's that's Sex. it. Yeah. That's the only thing. Failure, success. Two constants. I'm chilling on that death shit. I feel like I'm all right with that at this yeah, point. Yeah, I don't care. I don't I think, think about death, but like you're gonna die one day, then you, then yeah, you. Yeah, I know. That's you. why I don't think about it because like I know that. That's... I just know it. Like everything has a start and end, so like that. Yeah, I don't be really thinking. doesn't concern me, but it does at the same time. I I don't really want to touch on that, but like keeping me up is failure. I think like I mean I touched on early in the episode like I grew up in New York. Like, I see crazy shit, bro. Like, and I see what, like, the lowest, like, what the lowest of the low is, bro. And I, I don't want to fall to that. I don't want my family to ever be in that position, bro. It's just terrible right. to me, bro. And I want to do everything I can to prevent that. I want to even help, like, people in the next generation that, like, maybe going through, like, the same shit that I've seen some people go through growing up. I went through growing up. Like, I don't know. I just don't want people to fail. This is a sad sight to see, bro. Real shit. I just don't want to turn into Joe Budden, bro. Like, I just want to, like, or, like, or he, bro, or some wanna, shit. I don't want to act like that nigga. I don't want to dress like that nigga. I don't want to rap <laughs> like that nigga. Like, I don't want to have, like, the same outlook and life that nigga got. He's just, so we like, just hating on Joe Budden now, bro. bro. So I'm not hating, like, you know what I'm saying? These he are all, do, this is all true. Thing. So, Joe, Joe Budden keep you up at night? <laughs> that shit kind of keep me up at night, nigga. Like, I don't want to be like Joe Budden. Yo, that nigga, bro, yo, that nigga be in the strip club like every day, bro. And like, bro, be like, y'all don't be in the strip club more than me. I don't want to do that shit in my life, bro. I want to do something with my life. You know what I mean? Like, something substantial, bro. You know what I mean? Like, what you said, like, help people. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think Joe Budden be helping people, nigga. Like, I really just want to make a billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not like, I'm not as good of a person as these niggas. Billionaires you know? are evil, bro. I'm not as good as a person as these niggas. I just want I want to see me and my niggas be good. You know, the rest of the world I can't help. I'm sorry, but I want to see me, and everybody that I love, and everybody that loves me, be good. You know, and that's it. Yeah. Really? That's all that keep me up at night. Like not being able to see that. Yeah. Like that's why like death don't scare me. I ain't scared of death, but I'm scared of dying before. Yeah. I, I, sometimes I it's crazy, but like sometimes I'll be feeling like I'm living on borrowed time. Like living on borrowed time, the clock ticks faster. I feel like timing is never right for like, when you want it to be. Uh, well, that was depressing. Maybe. Next it's question. Real, nigga. It's some real yeah, shit. Real bro. Sad. Like, life, life this don't be think fair. life is SNL. This is gonna sound mad depressing, but I be thinking sometimes about like, ah, you could really like not wake up. Yo, this is the same shit that be happening with niggas on the game, bro. Niggas be chilling, trying to like just chat it up and have fun, and then one of these two niggas just start talking That's about like, you ever think about dying? I don't like hanging out with too many light skin niggas, bro. You know? think about how all of this will be over soon? I don't say that shit, but like I do, I do say some shit like pretending just like my thoughts. I don't want to be it. a colorist, none, bro. But y'all light skin niggas be sad as a bitch. I'm not sad. I just, I just <laughs> think about the grand scheme of shit sometimes, bro. I don't know. Hey, bro. Light skin niggas I feel like it's sad. it's very important to think about those things, though. Like all jokes aside, it's very important to think about those things, bro. For sure. Them says ground you. Sure. But you know, sometimes you just got to drink like four beers and smoke like oh, four no. beers. Or drink some water. I'm, I mean, my water right here, sure, but the four beers. No, I think water. Can you pass me all water in my bag? Nah, nigga, like, fuck you. Um, uh, next question. Bro, spring break is coming up, my niggas. What niggas doing for Miami. spring break? Miami. You not going to Miami, my nigga. Did you not hear, nigga? They added regulations. Yeah, Miami not fucking with spring break. Clip the spring break, bro. They said it's not. They said it's not. I was never going to Miami. This nigga going to Fort Lauderdale or some shit. This nigga not going to Miami. Did y'all see the HBCU cruise? For spring nah, break, HBC that shit gonna smell so bad, bro. It, there's a cruise. Nigga said niggas stink. It's H, it's, Not it's even that niggas stink, bro. Niggas just gonna be on there wilding, bro. And it, it's taking place on spring break. I it's, know, it's I'm called down the HBCU to do that. Cruise. That's how wavy. Look it up. That's yeah. how bad fun. You gotta be in the HBCU to go. No, nah, I don't think so. But it's like HBCU, like it like mainly is going. I don't All think right. you have to be in one to go though. Pull up over there. Say I go to.
They gonna look at me like I got like the fucking cheese touch or oh, some God. shit. Y'all niggas be y'all y'all niggas be stinky sometimes. Bro. Like, Next week's just gonna be Greeks and a lot of them white Greeks folks, groupies. Uh, you be stinky, so it's true. they do be stinky. I I can't even hate cool you, right? Yeah, I can't disclose on whether or not stinky, I think y'all stink. Yeah, say they names. I ain't gonna say I don't no think names. none of the white people I fuck with in my school stink. Nah, Word. we we cool with like I one stink that. white person. What? Nah, we cool. I, I, mean, I just smelled a couple stink white folks. I oh, know, I, I smell a lot of stinky white folks at my job. I don't go outside. Word, bro. Y'all niggas not stink, bro. My white friend's hygienic. <laughs> like two of y'all niggas stink. <laughs> I don't have nothing to mean. Y'all, y'all good. It's crazy, y'all good. bro. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is crazy. Yo, this nigga is crazy, bro. Yo. Dre, 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 and Arlo go watch this shit and be like, yo, this nigga's tattoo. You think it's Arlo? Don't even go to the fucking. Oh, yeah, Arlo don't go. All right, he's not going to be scared. All right, cool, cool, cool. Dre going to watch the. Who else? Dre, Dre, and Dre and Lando going to watch this shit. Like, you talking about, talk about it? What do you say fuck me for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I don't know who I'm talking about, bro. I'm not talking, I'm not talking about you. But yo, what, what, what y'all meant? Because like, during that pause, like, I, I left the room, man. Why I come, why I come back and y'all saying that like, y'all voted that I was cute? You fine, nigga. You fine yeah, as hell. That's, that was them. That was like, him. They dapped up across me and everything. I didn't do anything. Bro. Oh, God, this nigga oh, whispered to me that you... Like, how did I even become, like, the topic of... I don't like, know, he whispered something to him. Nigga. He told him, he told me, I said real. Come here, bro. I like this one. I think Chris kind of cute, bro. You know you said that on the mic, right? That's why I bought the mic right there. Yeah, I'll cuddle it over there. You, gonna hear that? you didn't even hear what this nigga just said. I didn't hear it. He said Chris kind of cute. This new, bro. Real. Right, bro? Nah, not with the left. Not the way. <laughs> Yo, look at <laughs> Right, bro? <laughs> Yo, Chris, me and Milan both agree that you kind of cute, bro. <laughs> Rapper screaming all in our ears like we're deaf. Where's my roommate? Zakira! 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 Zakira, what's up, baby? <laughs> this bitch in a robe. Yeah. It was getting too gay in here. These niggas is on some gay shit. These niggas. Is These on niggas. Some gay shit. You That's the gayest niggas. one. I mean, yeah. He actually fucks niggas in their butt. I do. Okay, you nice. getting it though. Who <laughs> getting it? You getting it? Niggas is not getting it. This niggas getting it. Mm -hmm. He just gonna get in the pod with no clothes on. That's, uh, this is unprofessional. <laughs> what do you want from me? Is there a reason for me? Not really. I didn't even really want you to get in this. <laughs> I take my robot. If you want to, it's just because you're a stripper. <laughs> you look like a whore. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Yo, son. But he was just calling this the casting couch. Too. <laughs> I came in, I brought some lights. Bro, this is their best friend dynamic, bro. Nope. Mm, it be, be like, like that. that. Don't, <laughs> don't cancel him. Spare him. <laughs> Spare this man. This is roommate. There we go. That's appropriate. That's appropriate as fry me. This is Akira, guys. Hi. Since the podcast is in my house, we might as well see one of my roommates, right? Yeah. This uh, bitch is annoying. How is it living with XV? It's terrible, actually. That's not terrible. It's my best friend. I said you can get into this. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> Don't start. Ah. <laughs> All right, bye. That's it? Damn. She just got here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, man. You should get dressed. Oh, yeah, you gave a whole dress code, bro. <laughs> Niggas said, all right, bye. I won't come back. <laughs> Damn, bro, what the fuck? Damn. Damn. I'm just... He did so me. I fucked him up. Oh. Never. Oh, shit. Never. Me personally. She said she fucked you up, gang. I don't know. Bro, in your own crib, bro. We can, in your own crib, though. We could turn this into Zeus right now, bro. We could turn the cameras on to me and her, and I just go. 
That's some real Zeus Network shit, bro. I don't think we could put this shit on YouTube for real. <laughs> nah, <I'm sorry. laughs> welcome, welcome to Shamar's Club. Welcome to Shamar's Club. <laughs> XB's Club, man. It's still, it's still, it's still. <laughs> this nigga's insane. Yo, what is Milan doing? He's doing a sexy red dance. No, you're not. Bro, a whore. Speaking of horrors, guys, can we just like can we talk about something right now? I, I have a, I don't even I don't even want to call it a confession. It's more of like a question because like I know that this is how I feel. Yes, like I love whores. Oh, you know what I'm saying? No, no, no. We can't agree on that. I got love for whores. Like and do your thing. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying. Do your thing over there. Word. I could I I could invite a whore or two into my life. Yeah, we could be friends. Like, I'm saying though, like, I would like I'm not calling a sexy red a whore, but like, nah, he's a sexy red enthusiast. I would wife that. He he, oh. he would wife sexy red. I'm not mad at it. And many more like her. All right, many more is well, like insane. Many? Just, I'm not saying it's not just because she. Are oh, they on sexy red level of nah, sexy red? They don't red. gotta be like they on they on sexy red level. Would you wife red? sexy red? I was with sexy red. Her music crank. I'm not gonna lie, that should be going stupid in the whip. So you I want a bitch that's like pregnant with my baby with her ass out, you know what I'm saying? Like twerking. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh bruh, Freddie Gibbs type. Nah, I don't want that. Like she can't. That's too much. <laughs> bruh, Freddie Gibbs. I don't want that. <laughs> but she could be she be shaking ass with my baby, yo. The one that wanna spread he gibbs. Nah, I don't wanna be like that. Spready gibbs is crazy. I don't get it. I don't wanna get it actually. Continue. I, would, I respect it, honestly. It's just I love whores, man. I feel like you don't make a whore though. She pregnant and shaking ass. I feel like pregnant women. Nah, but like I mean, like I still want. love like, you know how many bodies you got? Oh, I got like like three thousand. All right, three thousand. I mean, I ain't even mad at that for real. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Nigga, nigga none of us province in province here are nigga. 25. Nigga, that's a neighborhood. Dude. That is a, pro a neighborhood. That is a province of niggas. Hey, hey <laughs> man. Is she clean? I mean, I feel like, yeah, body I count mean, don't matter, but like 3,000? 3,000 3, niggas, though. She clean? If she's clean, that's miraculous. 3,000? 3,000, she at least got chlamydia once. Let's be honest. That's fine, though. though. Like that's like, that's like getting a little cold. Anybody, that's, right, she got that's a little body. sex cold. A sex cold. <laughs> Yo, this nigga is insane, bro. Sex cold, little chlamydia, that ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, would you ever, would you ever see yourself like wife and a nigga? Nah. No? Mm -mm, I just fuck niggas. <laughs> oh, you put that on like a tapestry, I'm like. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, uh, I just fuck niggas. They love XV 2024. <laughs> it's just a picture of him in the background. <laughs> nah, yo, the nut uh got it. Yo, you would make a killing in jail. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't think what, I'm bro? Make a killing is crazy. Man. I wouldn't do that in jail. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I would really be straight in jail. <laughs> in jail, out of all places, that's the one place where it's like, no, nah, I ain't fucking with none of that. I, I ain't fucking with none of that in jail. And then he get out. It's like when I was in that program for them ten months, them niggas was gay as fuck, and I was just like, oh, that nigga. Program. <laughs> all right, let's give it. Let's get the people a little XV. A little Jesus XV Christ. lore. What have you done? I was I was a badass kid when I was young, and I had to go away to some dumbass little program for like ten months. You know what I'm saying? Scared straight. I was like, yeah, from like what fifteen is it? to Beyond sixteen. Straight. Nah, nigga, they they keep them niggas for like a couple days, and like nothing happens to them. Nigga, I, I had to cut a couple niggas, and I got cut. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it was a little cool. It was a cool experience. But anyway, though, them niggas was gay as fuck in there, and I wasn't with none of that. Nah, he was in there stabbing niggas, bro. I don't think it was gay straight. What? <laughs> <laughs> He was ready to shank a nigga over mud butt. I, 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 you know, a couple niggas got. Wait, you were oh. shaking niggas over butt? I thought it was like over like snacks and commissary. No, wait, shit. not over butt, but nah, just nah. to defend your butt. A nigga, to defend your a butt? Nigga, a nigga tried to put his dick in my face and I, I dead beat the shit out of that. I remember you told me about that. You ain't stabbed that nigga? Nah, I beat the shit out of that nigga. I ain't stabbed mm -hmm. that nigga. Hey. 
Hey, bro, we don't fuck with sexual assault. No, we, we, used cool. to, we used to get freaky on the low, but like that was oh, on the what, male. What floor. the like, prison system needs what's happening? Here? I'm saying though, like he was bugging out, like he was doing that in public. Like you can't try to put your dick in my face in public, gang. Like what's up? So what? Yeah, it would have been all right in the low. showers by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like low. you gotta be on the yeah. we private, bro. What's y'all up? Was on that. Y'all was on that behind the scenes. That you know what I'm saying, bro? Relax, bro. Relax. Get your cock out my face. Dude, what the fuck? He tried to let niggas know you was his bitch for real. Dude, ugh. Crazy. Start whooping that nigga ass. And you didn't let him bitch you, that's crazy. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to slap your dick like that, bro. You just had it in my face, bro. That's not some outside shit. It was in front of everybody. I wasn't ready for that. It hurt. There. It hurt. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> let me see is crazy, bro. Let me see is insane, bro. Let me see is crazy. That is not what happened, guys. That's not what happened. It's not how it went down. Beat the shit out that nigga though. <laughs> whip that nigga ass. I whip that nigga ass. Was there any like reconciliation after? Y'all just like just got back to regular programming and didn't talk about it. Yeah, we just we just got back to regular programming. So you beat much. his ass and then just whoop his ass. Then beat his ass. Then beat his ass. Yeah, you beat his ass and you beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's one white city. Nah, we ain't talked for like a little couple of days, but you know. It was, oh, it was back cool. to business. Yeah, it got right back, man. Did he apologize? Like, was he like, yo, I'm sorry my dick was in your face? I don't remember, honestly. How long ago was this? Nigga, I was like 16 when I got out of there. Jesus. That's crazy. Yeah, good times. Life come at you quick, bro. It really do, man. You're going to be 30 tomorrow. 2017 was seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. Earlier when we were setting up, XV was like, yo, I miss the good old days. And I was like, when is the good old days for your old ass? 2016. Drake dropped the album. We were in a different country. No, we weren't. Or was that New Orleans? That was 2016. We was in New Orleans. Well, I said 2016 then. 2016, we was in New Orleans and Drake dropped uh, That's Views. Dropping, yo, listening to Views in New Orleans must have been crazy. Yeah, it dropped like the on the day. plane ride there. Like when we landed, it dropped. Or like we got one that it dropped and then we was just bumping it like in our individual like group cars and I shit. Like I remember remember our cars were like side by side niggas. Didn't you windowed. yo niggas piss in somebody's room? No. That was yo niggas at the time. Somebody pissed in a cup and it was your man. Somebody man something it was not my man. Greg, Greg wasn't Greg wasn't jacking us for real. Greg was like, man, fuck them little light skins niggas. You just mad cause you got the piss thrown at you, nigga. That was, that was not our room. Dude, that was piss not our at you? Room. Dude, piss at them. Bro, not our room, bro, across the hallway, no piss hundreds. at them. You was fucking with a bunch of piss throwers, bro. Well, one thing's for sure. If piss didn't get thrown at you, I know your room got trashed for sure. They do blankets. That's not even trashing. They do blankets in our room. Mad fucking blankets, which isn't really like bad like, thing. Thank you, nigga. Yeah, but like, <laughs> but piss, bro. Niggas are slow. Some nigga pissed in a cup and threw it. That shit. And that was your man's? That was your man's. That was your man's at the time. He did not. That was your you man's. man's. Niggas, yeah, tried, niggas tried to, niggas tried to, like get me to like like they grouped me in because I was in a room and they tried to get me to like stay back from like the end end trip which is like some bowling shit on the yeah. final night but I was not jacking that and I went no Greg was an L man because he wasn't even jacking them niggas after that he came to us <laughs> bro I had this one time when I was on a trip I went to a trip like in Washington DC. Nigga, this was like middle school. That was like the last time. Um, end of year trip. Took me somewhere. Yeah, not even. I got fucking held back from my end of year trip, like my senior year trip, which was just a fucking Six Flags. But I wanted to just go with my friends, bro. <laughs> but they didn't let me go because this nigga named Zachary trashed the room that we was in. Like, nigga wanted to have a pillow fight, and I'm like, bro, we way too old for that, bro. It's like four of us in a room. How you. old was y'all? Nigga, we was in middle school. We was like, y'all wasn't too old for a pillow fight. Pillow fights are fun. Pillow fight? No, I didn't want to pillow fight nobody, bro. I just fought three niggas to get a bed, bro, because it was two beds and it was four niggas in there, bro. So I just fought three niggas to get my bed. We all had beds in our rooms, and right? I'm like, bro, nigga, this is like a cheap ass middle school in Brownsville, bro. This is, these niggas went to charter school. Bro. Yeah, yeah, like what the hell? I'm lucky I even got to go out of state for something, bro. You are not the country. Yo, fuck like, what, the New bro? Orleans, bro. Costa Rica. I like the Costa Rica trip. Y'all niggas went to New Orleans at school. Yeah, niggas went to New Orleans and Costa Rica, bro, for a week, and it was like three different hotels in Costa Rica. Oh, yeah. It was like we traveled, bro. They had like 
There was Fools, everyone. Was like, Y'all not real niggas, I was bro. Curious, and then, like, when we tried, there was one near the like, beach. Like, nigga, we went to Yo, six The second legs. one was the best, bro, at the beach, bro. Niggas, the, you can Y'all some bitch ass beach. niggas. Yo, bro, these. The third bro, one had I everything, though. Six Flags, Dorney huh? Park. The third one was cool. And fucking Coney. Yeah, Island. but it wasn't as, like, immersive these in Coney. Like, it was like a regular ass hotel in the United States. And and, and the second one, nigga, we dead ass could walk to the beach. We could walk, like, Mad far left and go get the natural ice, like the ices that the niggas was making. I hate the sand. I ain't never had shit, bro. There was Costa Rica, bro, for a school. Like, come on, bro. That shit was crazy, bro. You went to three different hotels in one trip. Yeah. yeah. How much did y'all pay for that trip? Like five hundred. Five hundred each. What the fuck? Five hundred. Five hundred. But you could you could and submit a letter. I don't think I paid for five hundred. We drove to a restaurant. Everything was paid for. We got a full plate, bro. Rice, beans, ground chicken, single. all that, nigga. Bro. All that, nigga. Bro. And we had the fresh Costa Rican coffee. We had uh uh sugar cane, bro. Like fresh sugar cane. We went to like this was high school. No, this is middle school. What the what fuck, the, man? My we middle school to, graduation packets cost more than all of that shit, nigga. That shit was like a band for some bullshit. We went to a farm, nigga, and we made like tacos from fresh. Like we made the tortillas from fresh, oh, but we, we made everything from fresh. Houses. And then like, no, it was like <laughs> this nighttime like dinner that like some big ass dinner. Niggas was playing guitars, chilling by the fire. Having like telling stories, just having fun playing games. Some nigga was on his Xbox that lived at the farm, bro. And we was like, what the fuck? This nigga playing Minecraft, bro. And we was just eating dinner and shit. Oh, bro, we went to we went to Hot Springs in a in a, in a yo, bro, hot springs the hot fire. springs at the base of the volcano, nigga. Yo, that shit was I bust crazy, my ass. Bro. Base of a volcano. We went white we went whitewater rafting. We went, that was fun as fuck. Oh, that was fun. Zip line, bro. Zip line, bro. We was like a hundred feet in the air. I'm that convinced was schools like mine are like money fronts for schools like yours. <laughs> Did y'all get all of that for five hundred dollars? Nah, I only paid a hundred because I wrote a letter. Nah, I wrote a, you wrote a letter and got to pay four hundred dollars less. Nigga? Yeah, I think I paid. What the fuck was in that letter? This nigga paid too I'm poor. poor. I pleaded broke. <laughs> <laughs> I pleaded broke. That's fire. <laughs> Yo, uh, I only paid a hundred for that. <laughs> And I had the time of my life. That was the best spent one hundred dollars of my life. I'm never gonna forget that. Trip. Ever. That, that's the best trip we ever had. I didn't even get to go on my senior year trip, nigga. I got my middle back school did not place. allow me to go on any trip. I was dead about to get. There was a group of students that like you had to pass a third because I was bad as fuck in middle school. I'm not yeah. I had good grades, but I was bad as fuck. And like terrible, you, you had to behave for like this two week threshold in order to just like they just be like, all right, fuck it. You made up for all your passings. This whole year, you could go on a trip, bro. This nigga was in court. Was in court. Let me go. Yo, bro, I was good as fucking class after that, nigga. I was raising my house, participating in shit. I was like, yeah, nigga, I'm active. I'm in there, bro. Bro, that's so crazy <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> my middle school wasn't shit, nigga. Nigga, nigga was learning multiplication. We was in Costa Rica. I was learning bullshit, bro. Niggas was in Costa Rica living it up, bro. I got held back from my Six Flags trip because one of the teachers was like, yo, I heard Christopher rapping across the hall and he was keeping everybody up. I'm like, how the fuck does that warn me not going to Six Flags, bro? Can't go to Six Flags, nigga. Nigga was some hay ass nigga, bro. Nigga, nigga Your bars was, was weak, too, nigga. Was <laughs> bro, like niggas was nigga said, my rap dreams never worked. This nigga gonna make it, bro. Niggas was, causing, niggas was causing property damage and they was like, yeah, Chris can't go either. He was rapping, bro. I was like, what the fuck, bro? And I was in there with my moms, bro. And you, Greg, bro, you know my moms, bro. She was looking at me like, Shouldn't have been rapping, nigga. Like, what the fuck you mean, bro? Shouldn't have been rapping, nigga. Shouldn't have been rapping. <laughs> Niggas can't follow their dreams, bro. I wasn't even rapping that loud, bro. Shouldn't have been rapping. My voice wasn't half near as deep as it is now, bro. Niggas was it acting like I was, was keeping up the world, bro. Should have shut your ass. It definitely up, was. It was. That, shit, that shit was bass boosted, oh. nigga. This my fifth beer. This nigga is wildin'. Give it up for Let me on drink chance, my nigga. No. No? We're not plugging Corona. This drink oh, champ. Corona play can, can we have a drink, have drink champ out. segment? Shit get blurred. Give it up for shit getting blurred. So we can't have a dream drink champ segment. Let's get a drink champ uh, section in this in this episode. You didn't even want a beer. Oh fuck. Are y'all gonna start crying? Like Milan's like, the only uh, sober Coyle one Ray here. Died. Coyle Ray died. I forgot his name, but Nigga Bazino. Bazino. I didn't even see his episode. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really. He said he did coke. Champs. Now where he was like, y'all don't be on that type shit. Well, he said he did coke. What? Y'all don't. He, oh, yeah, he's like, y'all don't do said, coke. Y'all yeah, never like, did that. Yeah, Yo, like, bro, this nigga be, was. We be coked out. Nigga said, whoa, I'm just gonna slip that in there. Nigga was like, coked out. Nigga said, I be coked out. That's real shit. Nigga was like, yeah, not me.
Man, we all be coked out. No, no. Hell Y'all be no. coked out? No. Hell no. I've been offered coke many times. And Man, I've we all be no. coked out. Be for real. Yeah, this nigga got offered coke. I seen coke when I took a trip to his college, his former college. That shit was kind of like. I've been I've been offered like various various hard drugs. That's cool. There was a real geeker that he like dorm close to. I would have tried to fuck so many white people in Syracuse. Why specifically white people? It's a PWI. Predominantly white institute. What that mean? You can fuck anybody there though. I'm not gonna lie, Syracuse is full of the the S in Syracuse stands for slut. Yeah, you would know. We're not gonna talk about my past. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We're not gonna talk about my past. This nigga was getting bent over in Syracuse. Bent over is I, I, no, I was not bent over. You literally said one time that um. What are you about to say? Because I ain't say shit about me being bent over. What you said that what he say? Some, some shorty had him over. Just some shorty? Over, over the bed. Just, right. What are you talking about? You got pegged in Syracuse? No, no. That's way. the word. Yup. <laughs> Yo, these allegations this is crazy. Not allegations. The way he he told trying me. to spin this shit is crazy. He literally told pegged, me. Bro? No. You got, you got pegged by a woman? No, I ain't get pegged by nobody. There's a beautiful but black woman. He showed me. I'm not going to lie to you. What? I'm not going to lie to you about that question. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I fucking finish? I'm not going to lie to you. I was drunk. I'm not going to lie to you. It was some crazy Syracuse college parties. I was at a day party. I'm not going to lie to you. A woman a woman has ass to peg me and I said, hell no. You So you just gave off the vibe that you might Yeah, you, that's crazy. You gave off the mic could get pegged vibe. Uh, you want you want me to say who it is? Y- y'all know who it is. I don't know who it is. We can believe it. Who? You've been with so many things. I just things is crazy. It, it was- and I was like, fuck no. So what? How did it? Did it just like come up in conversation or like? It's kind of like you know, like when you when you just like when you talking to a girl and like you kind of just amping the sexual attention. You start talking about shit, and no. then she asked to peg, <laughs> and then no. I was, yeah. she asked if I'll be down to get pegged. I said, fuck no. Oh, like does she already have the strap? Like I don't know. I think she did. We're children of Jesus. Yeah, we're, we're children of God. We have no idea what this We're is. not like you whores. Yeah. It's so I ain't this, ever been pegged. The sexual tension just gets upped in conversation and she just magically lands <laughs> on <pegging. laughs> Like, Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I've been quite honest. It's a tight pod. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> this nigga like raised his eyebrow a little bit or something. I'm, I'm guessing when this nigga with X V was like, "Yeah, nah, I never been. I never." I ain't never been back. That's been crazy. <laughs> nah. He has been quite honest, to be fair. Yeah. No, she like X V. She buy drip. <sighs> buy drip. Well, guys. Well, guys, we learned today. Chris gets pegged. Fuck no. Not this Chris, that one. Both Chris's get pegged. What the fuck? This has been a crazy episode back. I'm not gonna lie. What the hell? Everybody was truthful today. This was kind of spontaneous. I'm not gonna lie, because we haven't been able to plan for a long time. As we discussed before, Marvin will be on hiatus for a while. You know, he's just focusing on other stuff right now. He's gone. What? To all the homophobic bad bitches. By the grace of God and the grace of Marvin. All the homophobic bad bitches. To all all the homophobic bad bitches, I was lying. You can can still fuck with me. Don't worry about what I was saying. Uh, Anyway. He not gonna marry a nigga. White niggas. We're still thankful, Marvin. He's here in spirit. (laughs) He's the reason why we're recording right now. We love you, Marvin. Oh, God. Uh, He will be on break, though. But, yeah, we just been... He might make a f- couple like guest appearances. Our schedule, our schedule has been like our scheduling has been fucked up. Marv, say goodbye to the pod. Three sixty, Marv. Nigga said bye. Yo, bro, he gonna be back. It's the it's the end of yo, yo, it's, it's the end of the episode. Marvin, lead Marv, us out. Marv, you got anything to say? I hope y'all enjoyed the podcast. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Yeah. 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 That's how you end it right That's there. That's what we like. Thank you for tuning in for episode 10. We out. Episode 10. Oh, shit. Shout out Sexy Red.
she can be. Hi, sexy red. She can be shaking.